Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Zacho and welcome back today to the Minecraft Story Mode Episode 7, Access Denied. Last episode being Episode 6, featured a bunch of YouTubers. It doesn't look like any of them have made it into today's episode. However, looking at this picture, it looks like Petra and Ivor are actually evil. They're holding down Jesse. Now what can this mean? We're about to find out. Now if you guys do enjoy this video, and you're missing Ruben like lots and lots like me, then be sure to thumbs up the video. Let's get into this. Let's see where this adventure does take us. Let's start episode seven. Previous but yeah, I really do miss Ruben. Story mode. That glow, that enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. There is a lot of awesome portals here. I wish Minecraft had more portals like this. Awkward silence. Tell the game presents. Okay, so there's a lot of portals here. We do, of course, have the... Oh, that was really cool. We do have, like, the obsidian one. <clears throat> a gold one. A lapis one. He's got a squid on his head. <clears throat> it looks like we are jumping straight into today's episode, guys. Who is this guy? <laughs> Who are we forgetting? Oh, we forgot Lucas. It's always Lucas. And now we've got a land. We got so many sheep. <laughs> That's the gravity. Petra's not happy with the snow. Ice lakes. Ooh. This has to be one of the coolest intros they've done for the Minecraft story mode. I'm telling you, like this is awesome. That was crazy. Why would there even be a fire world? <laughs> oh, D is on fire. Gonna slap his butt. An E. Thanks, guys. He's on fire. Paul Lucas. I marked that one down as fire world. Wow. How'd you come up with that gem of a name? Okay, did I miss something here? Yeah, what's up with you? What's up with me? What's up? I'm tired of all this useless portal hopping, trying to find our way home. What's on the other She's side? She's always of angry. We're all frustrated. But you love danger. Awesome. You're always frustrated. There. We're all frustrated, Petra. You're not the only one ready for a break. Well, don't take it out on Lucas. Where's Ivor? Uh, Lucas, you're on fire again. <sighs> See, this is what I'm talking about. We're stuck in a rut, go through a portal, avoid dying long enough to get back to this stupid hallway. Wash, rinse, repeat? Yes. It would be nice if whoever made these left some sort of signs, guideposts. There must be a different reason. Some do look dangerous. Directions would be nice. It's not like we have directions about how all this works. They would be nice. So, of course, there is going to be some trial and error. Error and error and error. And error. She's so angry this episode. Petra, where are you going? It may not be guideposts, but someone must be able to tell us how to navigate these stupid portals. Okay, this one's redstone. Redstone means smart people. Hopefully smart enough to help us find the way home. At the very least, it's got to be better You're than not thinking clearly we'll find the way home. What if there's no one? And what if there's no smart people, huh? You think about that? Yeah. We could just find ourselves at another... <laughs> Another psycho pumpkin mansion? Well, I'm willing to take that shot. So what are you saying here, huh? That you've made up your mind, you're just gonna go through this portal and that's it? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just saying that I'm tired of Jesse calling the shots every single time. She's so angry today. Oh, 
You need... You need to be yes. rational. Whoa. It's for your own good. Well, I am the leader. Someone has to be the leader, and that someone is me. Really? Oh, I don't remember when we all voted to elect you the boss of me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody calm down! I'm sure Jesse didn't really mean that. Right, Jesse? You misunderstood me. I think you just misunderstood. Let's really? keep it cool. Because I think I'm not exactly hearing an apology there. I don't believe it actually was one. Forget this. I am out of here. Well, that could have gone better. But we can't just let her walk away, right? No, no, we can't. Come on, guys, let's go find her. It's always... Lucas left in the middle, I feel. I feel so sorry for Lucas. He's just there. I'm starting to like Ivor a little bit more, too. I just got an achievement there. And here we go into the desert. Oh dear, this is not where Redstone should be. It's a mesa biome. And there's... No... Where's the Redstone? Yeah. So much for that Redstone hunch. I don't see any. But there's got to be some somewhere. Yeah, I feel like everyone's got to have Redstone. Hang on, let me see here. Hey, Lucas, I've been meaning to ask you, what's that? Oh, uh, it's just a, you know, a book I picked up back at the White Pumpkin's place. It's all about different biomes and stuff. <laughs> Great idea, Lucas. So, what's next on the agenda anyway? That's why I like Lucas. It's a pretty cool new place. We need to find Petra, keep an eye out for the exit, maybe, the, no, we need to find Petra first. first. I know she's angry, but we need to exit. find her. Can't have her running around on her own. Yeah. I'm amazed at how fast she went wherever she went. I hope she's okay. Hmm. Would you look at that? Sand. <laughs> it looks like some sort of road. Way to go, Captain Obvious. Going to write about it in your little journal? A road doesn't Not form little, naturally. Yes, yeah. probably. A road, huh? Is that natural? I don't think so. Well, if I were Petra here on my own and saw a road, I'd probably follow it. This I mean, guy is Detective sense, Lucas. Right? We'll find her. Hey, yes. she ditched us. Well, she can be impulsive she will, no. and fly off the handle. We'll find her, Ivor. very sharp. Lucas has a good point. I bet if we follow the road, we'll find her. Ivor is like, just get rid of her. Sand, clay, and more sand. Got a feeling this episode. Gonna... Oh, there she is. is. That... Petra. Oh, it's Petra. Petra. Shh. Get down. I told you not to follow me. Too bad. Friend code, no abandonment. <sighs> what are you looking at anyway? Look. Whoa. A desert zombie? Right? Did it see you? Why is it not on fire? So weird. Why isn't it on fire? Exactly what I was wondering. Maybe that's this world's thing. Zombies and monsters come out in the daytime? Wouldn't be crazier than it's anything just a zombie. Else we've seen. Let's get a close look. That could be worst. Oh, that would be the worst. We should get a closer look, see what we can find out. Works for me. Gonna pin down a zombie. Here we go. Yeah! What the? There's something weird about this zombie. It doesn't no, die. I could actually use a hand. It just doesn't make any sense. Don't worry, Petra. I got your back. Here we go. This should be a piece of cake. Or maybe not. Okay. It doesn't die. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem right. It was just one zombie. What was the problem? No, uh That thing was like super zombie. Stronger, tougher, faster. I hope there's not something wrong with me, because that would be really losing your really touch. There's nothing wrong with you. I'm just Definitely glad you're seems here. Weird. I'm just glad we caught up to you. I'm sorry for storming out on you guys like that. I just got so fed up. Now that we got that behind us, maybe we can start figuring out what in the world is up with these super zombies. Oh dear. Well, that seems about right. I don't know about you guys, but I'd really like to figure out a better way to handle these super zombies. Just run! There's way too many zombies to deal with right now. Uh oh. Oh, that was close. Well, that 
They must be afraid of us. Did we do that? Are they peaceful? Maybe they're just peaceful? I bet they'd be even more peaceful if we kept as far away from them as possible. You know, just to be sure. I like Lucas. Hmm. This strange object, look at it. What on earth is that thing? Well, it definitely seems redstone-ish, right? Fascinating. Maybe those redstone things are what make the zombies so blank. Makes sense to me. They're like... I'm starting to wonder if we should... Oh! Ah! Ah! Attack? Like in my head! Attack! Finally! Ah! I was hoping for a chance to observe their behavior. They just don't die, though. I guess you must have scared him off, Jesse. This is really weird. Going back the way we came from. This might sound crazy, but I feel like they're trying to lead us somewhere. You're right. He's so that smart this time. Like crazy. Lucas, where was you last episode? Let's see where they go. Might just be not lead. Let's go see where they go. I think sure. Lucas might be right. I mean, who doesn't follow zombies in Minecraft, them. right? See where they go. So, let's get moving. Okay, so they're taking us up to, I'm guessing, to where this computer is. This episode's all about a rogue computer from what I know. And it looks like it's in a mesobiome. It's a village. Okay, then. Kind of looks like it reminds me of something out of Star Wars. Any it's too quiet. Anywhere. Let's find someone to this talk to. Fascinating. Is out, no, it's yeah, let's talk to someone. Based. Awesome. Come on, guys. Where there are buildings, there must be people. Let's find them and see if they can explain what's going on. And maybe they'll know where the exit portal is, too. Okay. Very confusing so far. Hey, told you guys there would be redstone. Nice. Speaking of redstone, I'd like to investigate those things on the back of the zombies' heads. Ooh, yeah. I, I want to see those, too. Take one if you can. Wait, what are you doing, Ivor? What's it look like? I'm going to rip this redstone thing out of this zombie's head. For science. For science. They're sleeping. That seems something. dangerous. It'll we'll go easy. for it. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, go for just it. Don't Cause I'm curious. Okay, just rip it off. Fast. What are you waiting for, Ivor? It's probably gonna come back to life that as a normal zombie. not gonna pry itself out. <laughs> Poor zombie. <laughs> Are you okay? It's like it's shocked. It got electrocuted. Yes, well, at least we learned something new. They can't be removed. Not with our bare hands, anyway. <gasps> Look, there's someone. We found Thank somebody. Friendly? Hello? 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 He must be shy. Huh. I guess he's shy. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I guess. You need to lock that gate, Lucas. Hang back a bit, Because they'll get out Let otherwise. It says okay, Crown Mesa Population 1063. Yeah. I mean, there's still a lot about this place we don't know. Look, see? I did see this. Welcome to Crown Mesa Population 1063. 1063. This place is really weird. This is a really start, Over like a, a weird start. people? Not anymore from the looks of it. Okay, who's this? Let's talk to these. Let's talk to these. Guys! Jesse, how goes the surveying? It goes weirdly. I'm convinced something strange happened in this place. I just don't know exactly what yet. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay, let's go to the chickens. All right, because I think they're being controlled too. Because look, look at their eyes. Their eyes are, they're too weird. Wow, even chickens have those redstone things in their like heads. Like everything's controlled. It looks like they make them move in perfect unison, but why? Hmm. Okay, well, we can. Can we talk to them? Talk to the chickens. How's it going, chickens? Uh huh, that's nice. Okay, this is really strange. What is this over here? Can we can we look through here? I don't think. Oh, there's something over here. Townsperson, talk to them. And it's like the only person that's 
that we found so far. Talk to. Uh, hi there. Uh, hello. My friends and I could just use. It's someone else being can control too. What? Huh? So, did he stop being shy? Talk to you? Yeah, seemed like a pretty short conversation. We heard quite the. These people need our help. Scream. Let's get out of here. Yell. That thing wasn't human. That guy I was just talking to, trying to talk to, he wasn't human. What? It's yeah, he was like these zombies we've been seeing. Red eyes, weird, glowy head thing. I don't like the sound of that. Jesse? Someone just ran into that house. Really? I don't see anyone. Maybe it's someone normal. Come on, whoever they are, maybe they've got some answers. <laughs> yes, yes, there you are. That's the ticket. Oh, hello. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, hi. Ah! That you, Pama? What? Okay then. Okay. Who sent you? I didn't survive this long. Nobody sent me. Hey, chill out. Who is Pama? Especially some weird dressed little scrub like you. Scrub. Nobody sent me. Okay. <laughs> you really expect me to believe that? What kind of fool do you think I am? Honest, I have no idea who you are. I don't... You're telling the truth, aren't you? Okay. Eyes. Not red. Not red? But but that must mean... But how? If there are more of you? This should be... It's impossible. Out with it. Who are you people? What's going on here? I'm sensing some... We came through a portal. Petra let oh, us here. What was your We're first here clue? by mistake. What was that name before? Uh, pa Ma? Easy. We just... Ended up here by mistake. Mistake? Oh boy, this is the biggest mistake of your life. Uh oh. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, been alone for a while, so this is a lot to take in right now. The people, the citizens of Crown Mesa, you've met them, right? Maybe there were some outside. I'm not sure they are people. Yeah, I met someone. Not, not sure I'd call him people anymore, though. No, no, no. Please don't talk that way. I'm sure it looks confusing to someone from the outside but please they're my friends and they are people please don't forget that they're good people i promise oh 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 no 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 i've wasted too much time uh, jesse don't look now oh here we coming. go there's four people after us is this what you were scared of there are only four of them and five of hey where'd she go well they're definitely not ignoring us anymore jesse uh oh what do we do here they don't look happy. Try to blend in. Anything. Let's He's get out of here. here. Time to go. Good plan. Window. Uh-oh. Nope. We're stuck. You are not from this place. Back off, people. We're totally from here. Uh, I don't know what to tell you, but we're definitely from here. Hama knows this to be untrue. Hama sees all. A decision has been made. Hama has questions. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, they're not happy. You will come to Pama. No way are you even considering. Fine, we'll go with you. Sorry, we are just leaving. Nope, not gonna happen. Why not go? We certainly won't get to the bottom of this if we stick around here. We're not going anywhere with you. Yikes. I guess they're used to getting their way. All right, gang, let's try not to hurt anybody. Too badly. Ouch! Watch it! Here we go, come on. Get, get rid of them. Uh oh, there's another dude. Oh, oh, that's gotta hurt. I could see the pain in Jesse's face. What happened? You went down hard. One punch and you were out. I love how Ivo just puts it how it is. You were hit hard and you you were knocked out. What is that? I have no idea. That's a big computer. I suppose it's friendly, do you? I guess it is. It is smiling. Looking, in a massively, hugely intimidating sort of way. Well, it is smiling. That's a positive sign, right? My apologies for the violent nature of this visit. I am Tama. Greetings. Greetings. 
We have much work ahead of us. What is Pama? What do you want from us? You control uh, everything here? If you choose to cooperate, that is. So wait, everything here is part of you? You're controlling everything? I am making everything useful, efficient, effective. I am what you might call a computer, a thinking machine, designed to make things useful. Using redstone chips, I have connected to the people of this town, has helped them be useful, coordinated. I have made their world perfect, thanks to me. Your idea of perfect no is messed up. Activity. No wasted thought. Yeah, I agree well, with this on. one. I've seen what you did to this town, and it is not perfect. Processing information. Processing information? It said it's a thinking machine. Thinking must take time? I have consulted my databases, my list of everyone and everything in this world. And my conclusion is that you are not from here. Despite what you told these nice, nice townspeople, I would like to ask you some questions to expand my databank. How did you get here? We came through a portal, we walked here. How did you get here? Knowledge. Question with a well, question. Let's not talk about me. I'd rather hear about you. How did you get here? Answering a question with a question is unhelpful. Diversionary. Rude. <laughs> so far, your performance in question answering has been inadequate. This makes me sad. Now, I must use alternative methods to retrieve my new information. Jesse! Uh-oh. Ouch! We could have just. I'll give you the information. No, no, no! Wait, Pama. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Just please don't hurt her. I am looking forward to hearing this new information. Please, please do not, do lie. not lie. Okay. This world reached peak efficiency quite some time ago. Unfortunately, this meant that I had no more job to do. No more things for people to help. Until you arrive, that is. Uh-oh. Tell me, what is your world like? Describe it. Is it very much like this one? It's a lot greener. completely different? It's a heck of a lot greener than this place. Just imagine grass and trees instead of sand and clay. That sounds lovely. It really does. I think I would like to see this world for myself. No, you really wouldn't. If I could send my townspeople, my friends, through to other worlds, we could continue to grow and expand. It would be lovely. However you entered this world, there must also be an exit. Where is it? You could help me I'm looking for the portal too. We try to find it, we don't know where it is. And become useful. As a matter of fact, I'm looking for the portal out of here too. Not that I've had much luck so far. If you find it, let us know, will you? This conversation was supposed to be about what you know, not about information I already have. My job is to be useful. I have completed my job here and must be allowed to expand and continue to be useful. Unfortunately, our conversation has not been helpful. Uh-oh. Let me go! Okay, they're in trouble. <gasps> Um, Petra? Jesse! <gasps> Welcome, Petra. Yay! Oh. Uh oh. Is looking a little you picked the wrong fight, Bama. Release my friends. My brain is off limits. Release my friends. Let my friends go now. It's like you told Petra. Someone has to be in charge. That someone is me. Welcome, Lucas. Yay! Your turn, Jesse. Uh oh. Get out of their head! But their heads are full of so much lovely information. It makes me happy. What adventures you've had. A killer? 
mansion. Huh, every time Palma gets new information, it seems to get distracted while it processes. Yes, time to run! Like a computer version of thinking. Do you think there's a way to distract Palma long enough for us to escape? A city in the sky. Let's ask Palma something that doesn't make sense, like a uh, unsolvable problem. Oh, you've met so many people. Yeah, we just asked Palma something really confusing, get it all busy, busy, and run out of here. Jesse, that's fantastic. What you're describing is a paradox, a self-contradictory statement. I really think it would work on Palma. What do you think would work on me? Here we go. Uh, Nothing. Trust me, trust no one. Like nothing. Pama, trust me when I tell you, trust no one. So, if I trust you, I should not trust anyone. But if I do not trust anyone, I should not trust you. <laughs> it's working! So I should not follow your advice and therefore not trust anyone. Meaning, I should trust you when you say trust no one. Error. This data is contradictory. Does not, 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 not compute. Error. Diverting power. Yes. Uh, run, Jesse. Work. Run. Nice work, new guys. But I get out of there fast if I were you. I'm a quicker learner than you think. Paradox status. On roll. Yes. My creator. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you? She's the creator. I'm sensing some. Let's get pet. No, quick, follow her. We have to leave Lucas and Petra behind for now. An excellent idea. Quick, get out of here. There's too many towns, people. Okay, we might quickly get away from this. Uh oh, is that Lucas? Oh, they can jump from biomes. This is there is too many people here. We need to go and fast. Yeah. Oops. Was that Lucas then? No, we need to click the continue. Let's try that again. <laughs> we need to get out of here. We failed that time. Go, go, go. Have you finally agreed to merge with me? Oh, don't you start with that again! Come on, you two, this way! I'm sensing some history. Quick, follow her no, again! We follow her. Okay, we're running out of time. We need to go. Let's not mess up the keys this time. We need to escape. They're coming quick, so we need to go. Is it Lucas though? I don't really know if it is. Jump! We made it! Oh dear, Ivor! Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Quick, get him up! Let's go, let's go, let's go! We must jump! Nowhere left to run. We'd never survive jumping down! Throw enderpearls. We have these. I forgot about them. Excellent, Jesse. Now we just need to throw them in the right spot. Go. As soon as they land. You're running. Makes me sad. Oh, I was so close. Oh, why is that always so disorienting? Maybe you got a shot after all, new guys. Better stick with me, though. Alright, guys. We're gonna end part one there. This has been incredible so far. It started off very slow and confusing, but we've gone through the redstone portal. We found people that aren't people. We found zombies that aren't zombies. Everything's just currently confusing. Hopefully, this lady can explain a little bit more in part two. Let's be sure to smash 500 likes. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye!